Hello, I'm Seth Williams here with the uh, Director of Athletic Performance, Tim Rabus, and uh, I'm here to ask him a few questions. What made you first want to pursue this career? Um, I always loved training. So when I was in high school, I started training and was kind of attached to it. Have you always wanted to be a strength coach, or did something happen that made you want to do it? I had no idea about being a strength coach. I was going through uh, college, and I was about to graduate. And I thought I was going to be like a personal trainer or something, and one of our football coaches was like, why don't you do strength and conditioning? I was like, I don't know. Nobody's ever suggested it. What was the hardest thing you had to do in order to get in the position where you were at today? Um, I think the hardest thing to do is basically work your – butt off without getting paid for it. Yeah. You know, you kind of got to invest in it before you get a return. Okay. Uh, how has the strength and conditioning world changed since you first started? Uh, strength coaches are, um, have more credibility as a whole, and I think that the pay overall has kind of increased. It was kind of pretty low mm -hmm. to begin with. It was. Um, what are some difficulties in your job? Um, dealing with as many people as you have to deal with and trying to, I guess, yeah. to some degree, please everybody. How did your education help propel you to your first, or to put you in your position? Um, oddly enough, I had a health promotion wellness uh, track mm -hmm. with a nutrition minor, and the health promotion and wellness was kind of a global, so it had like yoga and massage yeah. and a lot of the stuff that we come to be popular today. Okay, uh, what colleges did you attend? Or college? I got, I went to a state school at the University of Wisconsin, and then I went to the Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. Got a master's degree in exercise sports science. What connections did you have that got you here? Um, the Chicago Bulls and Al Vermeil. And Al Vermeil is kind of a, he's recognized as a legend in his field or in mm -hmm. our field. And he was my first guy. How many different uh, places yeah. have you coached at? Um, yeah. Chicago Bulls, the Citadel, Northern Illinois, Oregon State, NC State, Nebraska, NC State. Uh, what does a typical work day look like for you? Well, I woke up at 3.45 this morning. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. Um, how do you try to learn new things while still having to coach? Uh, by doing. By doing, and then obviously I got a little library here. I do a lot of reading. I try to do something that'll give me an investment in my profession and life, really, mm -hmm. every day. Something. Uh, how many hours do you work a week? I don't know. I don't count them. Just, we just do what we do. What is your favorite part about being here? Uh, it's the same thing as the most difficult part. It's also the favorite part. It's the mm -hmm. people. There's a lot of good people that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, how do you train kids yeah. that come yeah. in not knowing anything about strength? And you begin at the beginning. You start with the basic yeah. foundations and you just lay it down. <laughs> it's just, you know, checking the box. It's kind of like learning how to read and do basic math. Like you got to recognize things and just kind of put it piece by piece. Is it ever difficult to work with uh, co-workers when something is not agreed upon? Eh, sometimes, you know, you just have, at times you'll deal with uh, just different personalities. Um, how do you integrate athlete training into playing football, being a better football player? Well, we're in athletic development, and athletic development is a, is a global approach to making people just more athletic. And if you're more athletic, you have coaches that should be providing the groundwork to make you a better football player. Um, what lift would you say is the best for a football player to do? That depends on the person and what tools you have available. I think if there was one thing that you could do, I would probably pick a clean, a full squat clean, just because it has so many components in it. Were you satisfied with the career path you've chosen? Yeah, I enjoy my job. I enjoy it. North Carolina's awesome. we got a good thing rolling here. So. Um, what advice would you give to a new person that wants to get into this field? Um, set your ego aside and get in there and do stuff. You learn by doing, and then you got to continue to educate yourself with uh, books and others. You know, find the originators, get around people that are much better than you, 
Yeah. Be willing to be full. All right. Thank you. Thank you.